sometimes do not want to write it in this particular form because in this case alpha 1 has the interpretation of what is the average yield you can expect from variety 1 but most of the time we are interested in comparing the different varieties so we just rewrite the same model using a slightly different parametric form like this so in this case i have y i j equal to mu plus alpha i plus epsilon i j very same thing however now i have increased the number of parameters to four as a result not all of them are estimable anymore they are not identified. The reason is simple. In this case, suppose I say mu, I just add 10 with mu and I subtract 10 from each of the alpha i, then still all the mu plus alpha i will remain the same. So mu and alpha i, they are not identifiable from this model. However, there is one advantage of using this particular model over the last model that I showed, though they are basically equivalent. The advantage is in terms of the interpretability. Now, the parameter mu that I have, the parameter mu, the parameter mu has the interpretation of being the average yield of crop of this type of crop irrespective of the variety. And alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, they have the interpretation of being the additional effect due to that variety. So now the alpha i's give you the additional effect over and above the mean effect for that crop. What is the advantage? Now some of the alpha i's will be positive, some of the alpha i's will be negative. The negative ones are obviously the worst things, they are worse than average and the positive ones will be better than the average. So by merely looking at the sign you get a quick understanding. So if I tell you that alpha 1 is minus 50 you immediately know that it is bad without having to look at the remaining two. Of course, how bad, that is how to calibrate that number 50, for that you will need the other things, but the sign itself has a sort of an absolute interpretation, if I write it in this mode. But as I have already mentioned, in this case I have got four parameters and there is no way I can estimate all of them from from this data. So what we do is that, and uh, in case you are not you are not quite sure about that, I have already given you one argument, namely you can just <coughs> say add some constant to mu and subtract the same constants from alpha i, and still all the mu and alpha i will be the same. Now a different way of seeing this will be to write down the design matrix in this case, and you will see that the rank of the design matrix still 3 as for the last case. So though there are 4 columns now, the rank is still 3. So we need some additional constraint by which we can say that these alphas and mu have the interpretation that we wanted to have. 